All clear. Dispatch, enjoy your ride. Ladies and gentlemen, to another wonderful and exciting episode of Theme Park Tempo. I am here today to start a new journey with you. I'm going to start giving you guys resort tours here. My first one on the chopping block is going to be right behind me at Disney's Art of Animation Resort. Um, I never stayed here. I don't know too much about it. We're going to explore together. Come on, guys. Now, Art of Animation is laid out very similar to Pop Century and the All Star Resorts. Um, it, it's a little bigger and it's a little more. It's um, considered a value resort, but it's in the upper tier of the values right before you hit moderate level resorts. First impression, you're walking through the lobby here, you have these wonderful artwork, these artworks hanging up here, black and white sketches, and it slowly progresses as you go into the finished color up there. Beautiful, beautiful multicolored lobby as you walk in, rainbow floor. Very art and animated. The ink and paint shop straight ahead, which is going to be your gift shop and your cafeteria. But over and all, this just pays tribute to the art of animation inside of Disney. And you again can see all the sketches on the wall as they form up here from the black and white down to the color up here. And I am in love with this chandelier. It has a bunch of uh, looks like Pixar drawings. I, I, I see I see Ursula up there, so there's all both Disney and Pixar. Lovely, beautiful chandelier. Up to the left from the lobby is where you're going to get all your Disney bus transportation. And right inside is the ink and paint shop, which is going to be obviously your gift shop here at Art of Animation. Typical Disney gift shop, plush dolls, t-shirts. Some park merchandise. Let's see if they have them. My all-time favorite treat, other than a churro <laughs> at a theme park, is going to be these chocolate coins, and they have a plethora of them. I was at Disney Springs recently, and they didn't have any. So I have a thing, if you ever, when I buy these, I have to look, and the package, in order for me to buy it, has to have more than one Mickey. This one looks promising, but the Mickey could also look like a Donald. So I have to go for one that has more than one Mickey, Glad they're still making those. And then over here you have more hats and t-shirts as well. A bunch of mugs in the back. And a landscape of flavors is going to be your cafeteria if you are staying at Pop um, so, um sorry, out of Art of Animation. Which is a bunch of Serengeti Serengeti paintings in this section. Very lion to guess. Take a turn here to the central the aisle up here where you get your refills for your beverages. This is going to be the car section. Bunch of radiator spring influenced. And right back here is the main cafeteria. It's still on a mobile ordering system, which is kind of lame. Um, the menu is much reduced than what it would have been. But they do have a cashier available if you don't feel like mobile ordering and having that inconvenience. Um, they do have a cashier available, which is nice, and a full menu for you to look at. Alright. Exiting out of the ink and paint shop. Right before you go out into the pool in the room section, at the Pixel and Play Arcade, right before you enter is the Fuel Rod Charging Station, which I always have a fuel rod on me because I wouldn't last in these videos with that one. Take a quick look around the arcade, they have a marble um, they get your face put on a comic. Some massage chairs, squish penny machines, Wreck It Ralph, it looks like. They're all Wreck It Ralph, yes. Yeah, nicely themed to Wreck It Ralph, though. These are lovely. If, you're gonna, if you need a relaxation, it's worth the $2 for five minutes. Some nice pinball machines. Guardians of the Galaxy. It's crazy how advanced pinball's gotten throughout the years. My grandfather used to have a pinball machine I used to play all the time as a kid. I don't even know half these games. I don't, I don't know how to play Kitten Blocks, no idea. Uh, I love these Guitar Heroes, but they never work. I swear to God, in arcades. They have a Cars Racing game, which is nice. Fruit Ninja, little chop chop. 
action. Classic carnival, duck the clowns in. I'm really good at this. I'm really good at getting the milk truck in there. They don't give you tickets of these anymore, which is unfortunate. Oh, a Nerf gun arcade game. That looks cool. Air hockey, basketball, ski ball, NASCAR team racing. I like the different color lights up top. And the very retro floor down below. It's a little arcade. Right outside the Indian paint shop, they have these wonderful pixelated looking paintings of different movies. I think they're focusing mainly on what they have outside. So Little Mermaid, Cars, pretty much what I see on this wall. But either way, you make a right out of the arcade and you exit these wonderful, these industrial sized doors here. And you walk out right into the Little Mermaid pool area. Directly to the left is where you're gonna find where your room is. Nice, nice size pool here. Finding Nemo all the way in the background. I'm sorry, this is the Finding Nemo pool. I said Little Mermaid to begin with. My apologies. Coral threw me off. But yeah, it's a nice size. Oh, Dragonfly right up there. Hi, Mr. Dragonfly. <laughs> ah, he's flying on me. <laughs> trying to show you guys the pool and this Dragonfly doesn't. Apparently, I'm in his face. But either way, nice size pool here. You make a direct right out of here. And you have the drop off, which is the bar where you can get alcoholic or non alcoholic beverages. It looks like they have some hot pretzels and chips for sale as well. Around the corner from the bar is the laundry station if you got to do your laundry while you're here. As well as some poolside restrooms. But you do need a magic band to unlock that and the to go into the actual pool. Back in my college program, my friends and I would pool hop literally from resort to resort and just test out the different pools. Those late days are unfortunately long and gone. Got wonderful theming around the exterior of the hotel. Hammerhead Shark, you see Bruce right up here. Crush is over there. I'm assuming these would be the more expensive rooms because they're closest to the food court. The actual name of this pool is the Big Blue Pool. Very nice. When I did my college program in California, I was a cast member over at Finding Nemo Submarine Voyage. So a little, little history of me here. Coming in back here, you have a, it's like a little kiddie pool with a little kiddie slide. No, it's not a, it's not a kiddie pool, it's the kiddie play area. That's what it is. Back behind there's the Skyliner station where we went the other day. I'm gonna turn around here, walk towards Lion King. So there's a guy walking a dog here. So one thing I guess, Art of, Anim Art of Animation is a pet friendly resort in that aspect. In the back of the Nemo building, you see some nice drawings of Nemo, less steam than the other, ex um, other, than the other side. We're heading this way to Lion King and the Little Mermaid section of the resort. Let's give you an idea of where we are. We entered here at the animation hall. We walked around here for the Nemo, and now we made a left, and we are right here, right before Lion King, and then into Mermaid. There's another pull back there. We'll have to check out. First impression walking into the Lion King section is, uh, well, my nickname for him is Monkey Blue Butt, but also known as Rafiki. But there's his Blue Butt. Nothing like staying at a wonderful themed Disney resort and seeing giant cranes in the background. Um, it does look really ugly with the cranes out like that. I, ooh, and there's some dust on there, so they haven't been working. However, though, you make an immediate left, and you see Simba on top of Pride Rock. That is a glorious statue. Beautiful to look at from your room. It's just simply immersive. I wish they didn't have these giant cranes here. Through the foliage here, you can see a wonderful scene from The Lion King during the Hakuna Matata part with Timon and Pumbaa and Simba all singing and jamming to this falling down tree here. Got more scrim up here to enter the resort. Not sure exactly what they're working on. Well, that could be part of what they're working on. That looks horrifying. 
I definitely need a new paint job on this part. Hope there's no guests staying in there. Now we've entered the dark area. Hyenas looming in the background. It's cool, you can like climb into the bones here. I'm too big, I'm gonna hurt myself if I go all the way in. <laughs> I said hyenas looming. And then Scar right off in the background. Classic villain who killed Mufasa. Alrighty, we've migrated a little bit to the left here from where we were to where we are now. Somebody tells me the seaweed is always greener in somebody else's lake. And here we go, right into the Little Mermaid section of Art of Animation. From what I understand, this is the first section completed when they were building the resort. Beautiful, it looks like. What do you call that thing? Oh, crap, I can't think of the name. Dingle Bopper, that's right. Now the new play the flute, the car play the harp, the blaze play the bass, and they sound and shop, the boss play the brass, the trump play the tub, the fluke is the duke of soul. Nice giant treasure chest as you walk in here. A thingamabob. Wonderful Prince Eric statue. Very similar to the one they have in the Magic Kingdom. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Didn't know my aunt and niece was here. Oh, no, sorry, that's just Ursula. My apologies. <laughs> life-size statue of Ursula. Not above life-size statue of Ursula, I should say. And looks like we have a little bit of under-the-sea action with Sebastian leading the band of fishes here. Into the other pool here at Arnab Animation. Not as big as the first pool, but still nice. We got Ariel in the background with Flounder. Jamming out, rocking out. And directly to the left is King Triton in all of his glory. It's a nice big area. When I did my college program in Disney World, um, Backlot Tour went down for about six weeks, so they restationed me to Voyage of the Little Mermaid, the show. That was fun to work. Now entering, ladies and gentlemen, Ornament Valley, also known as Radiator Springs, the car section here at Disney's Art of Animation Resort. And honestly, it's probably the best themed area out of the whole resort. The rock work, the topiary is, I mean, the topiary itself is just different from any other place around this resort. But it really does entice you, makes you feel like you're in Radiator Springs. Very reminiscent of Cars Land out in DCA, Disney's California Adventure, over in Anaheim. The Crazy Cone Motel, where you can get some of the best um, mac and cheese cones over at DCA. But not here, unfortunately. But, you got Luigi's, <laughs> Castle de Tires, in order to enter over there. And you got Tomaters in order to enter on the right. And you got to go through the Crazy Clown Motel right ahead of you. Cozy Cone Motel. I called it the Clown Motel. There is a Clown Motel. Not related to Disney, though. <laughs> Route 66. So, a little directional board here. Tomater. Right, Vader's right there for you. In the lobby of the motel. I just think it's ironic. We're at a, ho we're at a hotel. And it's a... Uh, model for a motel. All these radiators themed, all these radiators spring themed postcards here, cactus topiary. Walking in down this little hallway which looks like an entrance to the pool. There's another pool here, okay. There are three pools that are Art of Animation. Some bathrooms by the pool here. Water fountains, vending machines, which I actually take Apple Pay as well. That's good to know. And a cash and a credit and a machine for your silver needs. The, we the Wheel Well Motel, straight ahead of us. With all these cones, like kind of private cabanas, except you don't rent them and it's just first come first serve. That's pretty nifty though. Get your own little hangout spot. Yeah, it's really cool. You just pretty much come here and you can get your own little, it's not an exactly a cabana, but it's pretty, pretty similar. Very nice. We got a laundromat in here as well. Definitely my favorite theme. Definitely my favorite area of the whole motel. Hotel. 
of Art of Animation is the Cars Resort area. That's going to be a wrap today from Disney's Art of Animation. Thank you for coming along this resort tour. I had a blast enjoying it and exploring it myself. Definitely want to spend a night here to get the full experience. Either way, guys, make sure you like and subscribe down below. We'll catch you guys next time. I'll catch everybody next time. And until then, I'll meet you at the Midway.